combat that. So I was able to include some of, you know, her teachings and what she taught me into my skincare. I'm working directly with a black female chemist who's right here in the U.S. Um, so it's kind of that, you know, woman, woman empowerment, working together kind of thing. So I'm loving that. I knew I didn't want to just order stuff from overseas and throw a label on it, which people do mm -hmm. all the time. Um, I knew that I wanted to really be involved in the formulate formulation process and making sure that I'm giving stuff to my consumers that's clean, paraben free, natural, um, that, you know, is made here in the USA. And so that's, that's where I was with it. It's been doing amazingly well. I launched it February 19th. I get so many orders every day. I'm trying to, you know, I feel like I'm still in the better phase. So I'm trying to uh, figure out how much product I need to have, how it's moving, and it's moving quicker than I thought. I've already been getting calls about going into retail. And so it's moving and shaking. <laughs> so I have a question then. Mm -hmm. You know, because I have noticed, and I don't know if this was intentional, and you could tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. I have noticed a shift in how you present yourself and your brand on social media. Okay. Was A, that intentional? And then B, do you have a team that is like team melody that you put into place? Because I just noticed, uh, um, again, it, elevation. Mm -hmm. And for people out there who are looking at you as a reality TV star or maybe want to be a reality TV star or maybe just want to sh make that shift in their own life, what what did you do differently? And, 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 and am I correct in that there was a shift? That's what I'm about to ask you, honestly. <laughs> I was about to ask you, what is the shift that you see? Because I need to know because I feel like I'm just authentically being me. Every day, like I'm posting, I'm putting my own, there's not some big sit down game plan on what Melody is going to present herself as. I'm literally just being me with all my posts, all my photos, all my videos. You guys are getting every side of me because I can't be boxed in. So you got to tell me what the shift is. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what it felt like to me, okay? okay. <laughs> and it felt to me like, you know, I think at one point in time, it felt like there were things that you reacted to on social media that may have been said by, you know, a cast member or an ex. I, you don't seem as reactive to those things anymore. And so that's, that's, that's what I noticed. <laughs> there we go then. Okay. I know. Um, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I love protecting my peace, honey. I love ignoring bullcrap, honey. It's amazing, okay? I will say that I've been telling people like the past year, I have spent more time alone than I've ever spent my entire life. Mm -hmm. And during this time, I've spent a lot of time growing. I spent a lot of time, you know, self-reflecting and um, working on myself spiritually, working on honestly, be, me being in control of my emotions, because I am a Scorpio, and I'm a Scorpio Scorpio, like my moon and sun are Scorpio, so I'm okay. a Scorpio Scorpio, and um, we're very emotional beings, so I spent a lot of time and put in a lot of work to start um, part of my, you know, I guess customized healing process was for me to learn to control my emotions, and when I was first challenged to do that, I was like, shoot, I don't want to do that. I mean to say what I say and I say what I mean and this is what it is, right? <laughs> but now, months later, I see why God challenged me to get in control of my emotions because now it's made me less reactive. It's made it mm. to where things just brush right off my shoulder and I 